Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the books that I hope to read in the month of November. The very first book, um, The Eagle-Eyed Amongst You, might be able to guess at what it's going to be um, and this is a spoiler for my October TBR uh, which is going to go up next week and that book is Assassin's Fate by Robin Hobb. This is the final book in the Fits and the Fall trilogy. It's also the final book in the realm of the Elderling series. Um, basically um, what happens in the first book, um, Fitz is living his life with Molly. Um, they've brought up Molly's sons that she had from a previous marriage and they go on to have a child together. Um, there's been lots of fallout following that. Um, things have happened. Uh, things have happened in Fitz's world. Things have changed for him. His fortunes have changed. Um, but as always, the fall has come back into his life and things have been upset. Um, and this book is the culmination of everything that's been going on in the previous two books. I have already started, like I say, I'm filming this on the last day of October. So um, I've actually already started this. And I'm probably going to read a fair amount of this today after I've filmed and edited this video to go up tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I think I just finally got to a point where I was emotionally ready to read these books. Um, Robin Hobb never fails to pull at the heartstrings she makes me laugh um but more often she makes me sob like a baby and uh, yeah i just needed to be i think emotionally in a good place um to be able to read them and be in the mood for them because i know she's going to break my heart with this book um there have been some things that have happened in the previous books the previous books haven't been as emotional as i thought they were going to be uh, but I think this one is probably going to be the one that does it and yes uh, I think this is going to be potential slump bringing I think I'm not going to want to read for a few days after I finish this one um, but yeah I just feel absolutely compelled to finish the stories now that I've started another book that I've seemingly been in the mood for because I keep putting it on the TBR is Rose Madder by Stephen King um, we're meant to be coming to the end of spooky season once October's over uh, because Halloween's over and done with. But for me, horror filled books are more for November, December, January after we switch back to Greenwich Mean Time um, because you've got the darker nights and it just it just feels more fitting. Um, but also coming up in November is the 12 month anniversary of this particular copy coming back into my hands. And it means a lot to me that this book is back on my shelves, um, which I've talked about in previous videos, so I'm not going to go over it all again. Uh, but I just, I love this book. Um, and I just, I really, really have been feeling in the mood to read it. Just other books have taken precedence, but I'm going to definitely try and make time for it now in the month of November so that I can reread and enjoy it all over again, as I do every time I pick this book up. Basically, I've talked about it. I've talked about it before. There's there's quite a few videos with the synopsis of this book in. But Rose um, McClendon, she is running away from an abusive husband and she travels across America to start a new life. And she meets, makes new friends. She falls in love and she buys a picture and something happens from there when her husband catches up with her. Um, it's quite graphic and gory in places. It's not out and out horror. It is more thriller. It, it's kind of a mashup. I wouldn't say it's horror. Um, it's more of a mashup of thriller and horror and magical realism and, yes, a little bit of fantasy. It's kind of, I, I can't place this in a genre, uh, but it, it just ticks all the boxes for me and has done since I was a teenager. So, absolutely love this book and I'm looking forward to finally picking it up in November. I have three books that I have to read in November. I have fallen behind on my net galley arcs. So the first one that I need to read is one that I should have read back in September. And that is Midnight in Everwood by M.A. Kuznia. This is about a young woman who's a ballerina in early 1900s England. Um, but with the coming of the new year, she's expected to give every, all of that up and to marry a man who is being chosen for her. 
she doesn't want this then a stranger moves into the house next door and at first uh, she starts to get to know him likes him but he creates a world where she can continue to do her ballet but it's a fantasy world and once she's in there she needs to escape and that's all I know about it um, it's supposed to be based a little bit around the Nutcracker and I've been looking forward to it but again I think it's been released at the end of October it was released I think on the 22nd of October around about that point 22nd or 26th and to me it's not a book you read in the autumn to me it sounds more like a December book um, so I think that's why I haven't been able to get on board with reading it in, in September and October but I really need to make the effort to read it because now it's out I need to get that um, get that up uh, reviewed and and keep up my net galley stats basically the second net galley arc that I need to read again I should have read it in October it comes out quite early in November and that is All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman can't really remember much about this one other than no one is good in this book apparently um everyone is quite bad and they're all villains and yeah that's all I really remember about the synopsis so actually I'm quite looking forward to going into it more and finding out more about it and hopefully giving you a better synopsis than this when I do the wrap up at the end of the month and the third net galley arc that I have to read is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Now, you're all saying, you're probably all saying, but why is this an arc? You've, it's been out for months. I think what they did is they actually re-released the advanced copies uh, for people to read and review before the paperback copy comes out in December. Um, this book is about um, a woman who has to survive an entire night. Um, I can't really remember anything about it. It is a thriller, so again, Dark Knight's drawing in. It's the perfect read for this time of the year, so I'm looking forward to picking it up, but probably more likely towards the end of the month because it is meant to coincide with the paperback coming out in December. I have two more books on the TBR that I want to talk about. The first one of those is Next Time I Fall by Scarlet Cole. This is book two of her Sad Friday series and it is based around Jace who is the lead singer of the Sad Fridays. The Sad Fridays are a band based in Manchester and in the previous book, in the first book, uh, One Day Like This, they were trying to get their big break. The first book was based around um, the drummer Matt. Jace is his brother. Jace, um, spoiler for the first book, Jace is in love with the same woman as Matt is, but sadly it's unrequited. In this book, he's going to end up um, shut away and cut off from the rest of the world with a woman who has been brought in to help them now that they're finding some success. And it's how they then come to have a happy ever after together. I'm really looking forward to this. I was so excited when I saw that Jace was going to get book two because normally in these series, authors will keep the tortured character going and right until the very end. They never get their happy ever after this early in the series. So I'm really, really looking forward to picking this one up. I pre-ordered it as soon as I finished one day like this. Uh, so next time I fall is one that is definitely going to get read uh, in the month of November. And the final book that I want to start is potentially going to be a buddy read with a friend of mine at work. Uh, it's, I've talked about it before, um, but not very often, and it's The Many Coloured Lands by Julian May. It's the first book in her Saga of the Exile series, and it's about a man who goes back, to, back, goes back in time to the Pliocene era. And it's science fiction, um, which isn't a genre I read very often, but I read um, another series by Julian May, uh, which was um, a few years ago, the Galactic Milieu series. And this kind of whole, the two series kind of meshed together. The main character from Saga of the Exiles is part of the story from um, the Galactic Milieu series. And it all ties together. There's a book called Intervention, which ties the two series together in the middle. Um, but then 
something happens in the end of that the end of the galactic milieu series which takes you back to and you can actually read them in a circle and i'm talking with my hands i'm really sorry but yes this is potentially going to be a buddy read my friend at work has been nagging me to read this series and she's actually starting to feel in the mood for her herself so i have suggested that we kind of get together talk about it and decide when we're going to start it and how many chapters or how many pages we're going to read a night and then we can talk about it together at work um so yes yeah, so that may or may not come off uh, but again it is one that i've been thinking about reading for quite a while and i'm in the mood for fantasy so that could translate to sci-fi as well so i'll see what happens so those are all the books that i plan to read in the month of november if the mood takes me um i have very much been mood reading in recent months rather than sticking to a set tbr I have left off my book club pick for the month at the point that I'm filming this. It hasn't been decided. We have an idea um, of what it's going to be. The poll is up. It's been voted on. One book is definitely in the lead. Um, I'm not too sure I want to read it, to be honest. Uh, I wanted something else, but I'll go with it and see what happens. Do any of you do monthly TBRs? If you do, let me know in the comments box down below. I'd love to chat with you all down there, see if uh, anything that you're reading aligns with what I'm going to read. Um, I make videos every week and put them up on Mondays at 6.30pm UK time. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.